Have you ever had a momentary lapse of reason? I, I they, they seem to happen more often. The older you get, the more they happen that it's no longer seems to be momentary, <laughs> but almost perpetual lapse of reason. And what I'm talking about as far as collectors is buying the same album again, but you swear to God you don't have it. It's just crazy. And it keeps happening. You know, when I was younger, yeah, I had a collection of 500 albums, you know, back in my uh, in my 20s. I, I could look at that collection. I go, okay. I, I knew everything. And I knew it, even if it was out of place, I could tell that should be there. That's in the wrong spot. I mean, I could understand how the spines were, the colors. I could eyeball it. Then you get more and more and more and more. And eventually, you know, the collection was so large, didn't have a clue. But still, it was pretty good. And not buying doubles. Now we got Discogs to help. Discogs is great. We can put our albums in there. And it's fantastic to tell us. Unless you don't put your albums in Discogs. Or forget to put an album in. Or, I swear to God, I put these in and they don't save. Or, you know, it's just, it's not in there. I, I don't know. But, I've had a lot of momentary lapse of reasons. I'm going to show you them. The most recent ones, <laughs> well, shall we say, maybe within the last year or so. Okay, so well, the first one is, I, I just bought this. I was pretty excited. And it was, I'll take this out of the, I should have pulled these out of the cover, but we'll get to this. A momentary lapse of reason. I saw this at my local store. Oh, man, I have been trying to get a hold of one of these albums. And I have not been able to do it. I mean, they, they, they sell out so quickly. I go, gosh, darn it. And so, you know, I, I was able to get it at my local store. So I was pretty excited. Going to Discogs, and it's the only one. Okay, hey, it's, it's not in Discogs. So, all right, I finally got it. So I was working on our my, my podcast, two guys talking about records, and we were talking about album cover artwork and favorite album covers. And of course, you go look at Pink Floyd. And so, you know, I thought, eh, let's go look at this one. And I find this. And I find this. And I find this. What the hell? Oh my God. <laughs> From an album I swear to God I didn't have. Which it goes to show, maybe I didn't need that album after all, really. If, if I had that many... And I forgot, how important is that album to me? You know? <laughs> you know? I mean, it's just, obviously, I'm not pulling it a lot. Now, what is interesting, and I'll show you this. This is a newer reissue that came out around 2016, okay? Notice how the sky is purple. Look at the coloring on the bed. See that? Versus this, okay? Notice how bright it is. And, uh, and and actually, this is a little more closer up. This guy looks a little further away in this one. So they, they, they've changed that up. But these, these were both, you know, came out that year. Notice the difference in the coloring. This is more subdued than this one. Also, if you can see, this has a trim that goes around it, a black trim, while this one does not. So there are variants in the covers on these. And I mean, there's a, you, when you pull this up, there, there's a lot of different ones to look at on there. But so I could say, well, I have three totally different color covers. And as a collector, is that not the coolest thing? I kind of think, well, I got three and I only have so much room. Which one? The best. Now, they're all worth about the same price, mid-20s, okay? Medium price, medium value. So they're all similar, um, you know, time frame. But, you know, now I have to decide. Do I want all three? Or do I, you know, get rid of a couple, bring it to my local store for credit? We'll see. So the other day I, I got in... Um, I ordered from Bandbox, Bandbox, I believe it is, Luna. Luna, through their website, they had these live albums where they performed all of Bewitched, all of Penthouse, and all of Rendezvous. And I ordered them. It took a long time to come in. Well, I got them in, except somehow I ordered two of these. 
Now, uh, this is the penthouse one. The one was a package, uh, penthouse and, and, and um, bewitched. But then rendezvous was different. So I thought I ordered rendezvous. Oh, sure, I ordered rendezvous. I guess I ordered bewitched. This is the one I got in. And it's like, God bless it. Now I got two of them. Huh. Darn it. Well, that happens. Just other ones, just, just recently. Swore to God I did not have REM Murmur. Did not have this. Bought it, put it in Discox, did not have it. Filing it, there's another Murmur in there. Well, damn. And I really feel I'm really good at putting things in Discox. Makes you wonder. I had this. Wow, Wang Chung. You know what? I, I like this Wang Chung. It had dance hall days and groovy craze, whatever. I really enjoyed that song. I, I just thought it was fantastic. But yeah, two copies of that one. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, this this was one. I mean, it's the Smiths. For whatever reason. Found another one. Didn't think I had it. I think this one was already in Discog. Sometimes it takes a long time for me to load my collection. My old collection's still in there for me to refer to. So we are now talking in Discogs 15,000 albums and CDs. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it takes a while to load. But, yep, an original. I've got two originals of the Smiths. And this was a big one. It was like, oh, my God. You know, it costs more, too. That wasn't a cheap one. Rocket to Russia. Damn. That paid, I had 40 bucks on that one. Got two of them. Two originals. Forgot I had it. Bought another one. Got excited. That's what happens sometimes. You walk in, you see it on the wall, and you get excited. Go, oh, look at that. That's a great album. I need to have that. And you didn't. Don't check. And so, do with that. Pink Floyd Metal. Love this album. Great album. I loved it so much. For some reason, I bought a second copy. Don't know why, but I have two. Then there was X. And, you know, and some of this, you know, after after the flood, okay, people were sending me albums. I was trying to put them into Discogs, but there was a lot coming in because so many of you were very, very good to try to help rebuild a collection, and I missed a bunch. <laughs> Maybe this was one of them, but sure as heck, wild gift from X. that I recently bought had one already again it makes me question how important album is that if i don't remember i had it obviously i wasn't playing it a lot chesterfield kings from the 80s 80s garage rock just an extraordinarily good album i bought two on discogs momentary lapse of reason that's not so momentary anymore cheap trick didn't think i had it didn't think so wasn't in discogs didn't have it go to file it well, crap. There's another one. Great album. Just didn't need two of them. Fantastic album. Uh, Grace Jones, Living My Life. I think I had three of these. I sent one out already. Now I got another one. All right, now I have one. We're down, we're, down, we're down to two. Love it. Only need one. This wasn't the cheapest one in the world. Pretty sure I didn't have it. But I did. Actually, I bought a new reissue of it. This is an original, but I, I don't know. There it is. I, two blondies, parallel lines. Why I didn't think I had it, I, 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 I don't have a clue. But I got two of them. Thomas Dolby, Golden Age Wife. Love this one because she blinded me with sciences on here. What a fantastic song. Just, I mean, you think 80s. She blinded me with science. I, wow. I, not good enough to have two copies of it, but I can always trade it in. This one kind of blew my mind. It was a reissue, but I another one. I think that actually, I think one came through Vinyl Me Please. I didn't get it canceled. So the Vinyl Me Please one came in, but I also already had this it, i mean it is a phenomenal air album absolutely love this air album but two i i and you know my most recent one the lie i love it you know i found for five bucks i think i had it no i don't think i even i could don't remember even having it uh but it's for five bucks and it's it's an expensive album and so yeah i'll buy it it was at a um at, at a uh, flea market of all things so uh okay <laughs> i found a deal at a flea market and i had it and it was in the shrink still so yeah there we go 
momentary lapses of reason in vinyl collecting. I don't care what you collect, it, it can happen. I swear to God, the older you get, at least for me, the momentary lapses of reason don't seem to be momentary anymore. I may be going insane. Maybe I have dementia. I'll be the last to know because, like, I wouldn't know. I'll just live a happy life. You know, hey, everything's great. Um, but <laughs> just <sighs> a lot of money spent that I didn't need to spend. Just need to be a little bit smarter. Thanks for watching. Bye.